Have you ever wondered how squirrels reproduce? The world of squirrels is a captivating one, filled with remarkable intricacies. These small, agile creatures are found in various habitats around the globe, from dense forests to urban parks, making them a familiar sight to many of us. Squirrels belong to a large family of small or medium-sized rodents, known as the Shuridae, which includes tree squirrels, ground squirrels, chipmunks, marmots, flying squirrels, and prairie dogs. Their life cycle is a fascinating journey that starts with mating, followed by a gestation period, then birth and the nurturing of the young. Like most mammals, squirrels reproduce sexually, and their mating rituals and habits are quite intriguing. In general, squirrels have two mating seasons per year, and the females usually give birth to a litter of two to eight pups. Now let's dive deeper into the fascinating process of squirrel reproduction. Get ready to be amazed by the intricate world of these small but mighty creatures. The mating season of squirrels is a spectacle in itself. This remarkable period in a squirrel's life cycle usually occurs twice a year, once in late winter and again in midsummer. However, the exact timing can vary, influenced by factors such as species, geographical location and food availability. For example, the common grey squirrel found throughout North America tends to mate in January and then again in June, but if we hop over the pond to the United Kingdom, the red squirrel's mating season usually falls in spring and late summer. Now let's delve into the fascinating behavioural changes that occur during the squirrel mating season. As the mating season approaches, male squirrels become more active, increasing their home range in search of females. You might notice them darting across your backyard more frequently, their bushy tails flicking with excitement. Meanwhile, the females emit pheromones that signal their readiness to mate. This scent attracts males from far and wide, leading to a flurry of activity as multiple males vie for a single female's attention. It's not uncommon to see a line of males chasing after a female. This is not just a chase but a test of endurance, as the female typically selects the male who can keep up with her the longest. During this time, squirrels also become more vocal. They communicate through a series of chitters, squeaks, and barks. These sounds can signify anything from a male asserting his dominance to a female indicating her willingness to mate. It's a language only they understand, adding to the mystery and intrigue of their mating season. As the season progresses, males will engage in fierce battles for mating rights. These skirmishes can be intense, but they are rarely lethal. The strongest, most persistent males earn the privilege to mate, ensuring the survival of their genes and the continuation of their lineage. As the mating season concludes, the actual reproduction process begins. This is the start of a new chapter in the life of squirrels, leading to the birth of new generations who will, in turn, partake in this captivating circle of life. The squirrel's reproduction process is an intricate dance of nature. Let's delve into this fascinating ballet of life, starting with the courtship rituals. Squirrels, like many animals, have their unique way of initiating the mating process. Males are attracted to the scent females leave behind, indicating they're in estrus or ready for mating. When a male squirrel picks up this scent, he'll follow it until he finds the female. Upon finding her, he'll perform a series of chases and dances, often accompanied by vocalizations, all in an effort to woo her. It's quite the spectacle and can be a drawn-out affair, sometimes lasting several days. Once the female is receptive to his advances, copulation occurs. The act itself is quite brief, often only lasting a minute or so, but it's not always a one-on-one -on -one affair. In the squirrel world, competition is fierce and other males may also be vying for the female's attention. This often results in what's known as a mating chase, where multiple males pursue the female hoping to be the one to mate with her. Now you might be wondering, how does fertilization occur? Well, it's quite straightforward. After copulation, the male's sperm travels up the female's reproductive tract where it meets the egg. This process, known as fertilization, results in the formation of a zygote, marking the start of a new life. Interestingly, squirrels have what's called delayed implantation. This means that even though fertilization occurs, the zygote doesn't immediately implant into the female's uterus. Instead, it waits until conditions are right. Usually when food is plentiful and the environment is suitable for raising offspring, it's a complex dynamic process full of competition timing and instinct, and it's all driven by the squirrel's unerring desire to ensure the survival of their species. Post-fertilization, the gestation period begins. 
The gestation period is a critical phase in the life cycle of a squirrel. This period, typically lasting between 30 to 45 days depending on the species, is when the female squirrel's body undergoes significant changes to accommodate the developing embryos. During this time, the female squirrel's body is a marvel of nature. Her body works tirelessly, preparing itself to nurture new life. There's an increase in her appetite as she must consume enough food to fuel not only her own body but also the developing embryos. She becomes more protective, more alert and less sociable, keeping a vigilant watch for potential threats. Simultaneously, her nest becomes her sanctuary, a place of safety and comfort. She meticulously prepares it, gathering soft materials like leaves, moss and twigs to create a cozy and warm environment for her upcoming litter. As the gestation period progresses, the female squirrel's body continues to adapt. Her belly grows rounder, a clear indication of the life burgeoning within. It's a time of transformation, a testament to the resilience and strength of these small yet remarkable creatures. In the later stages of gestation, the female squirrel becomes even more reclusive. She spends most of her time in her nest, resting and conserving energy for the impending birth. It's a time of calm and anticipation, a brief respite before the hustle and bustle of raising a litter. The gestation period is not only a time of physical change, but also of instinctual preparation. The female squirrel's behavior shifts, her priorities realign, all in anticipation of the new responsibilities that motherhood will bring. Despite the challenges, it's a journey that every female squirrel embarks upon with determination and courage. Each day brings her closer to the moment she's been instinctively preparing for, the arrival of her offspring. After the gestation period, the most exciting phase begins, the birth of the squirrel pups. The birth of squirrel pups is a sight to behold. After a gestation period of about 44 to 46 days, the female squirrel gives birth to a litter. The number of pups in a litter can vary, but on average, a squirrel mother will welcome between two to four pups into the world. At birth, these pups are incredibly small, each weighing no more than one ounce. They are born hairless, with their eyes and ears sealed shut. This makes them completely dependent on their mother for survival. The pups are fragile, helpless, and require constant care and attention. In the early days of their lives, the baby squirrels, also known as kits or kittens, stay close to their mother in the nest, which is often a hollowed-out tree or an assemblage of leaves and twigs. The mother squirrel is fiercely protective of her young ones, nursing them and keeping them warm. During this period, the pups grow rapidly. After about seven to eight weeks, their eyes and ears open and they begin to grow soft fur. This is also when they start to venture out of the nest and explore their surroundings, all under the watchful eye of their mother. Despite their growing independence, the pups continue to rely on their mother for nourishment. They begin to eat solid food after around 10 weeks, but continue to nurse until they are about 12 weeks old. As the weeks roll on, the squirrel pups continue to grow stronger and more agile. They learn to climb, leap and forage, practicing the skills they'll need to survive in the wild. Their mother guides them, teaching them the ways of the squirrel world. By the time they are around 10 to 12 weeks old, the squirrel pups are almost fully grown and ready to leave their mother's side. They venture out to establish their own territories and start their own families, continuing the cycle of life. From helpless newborns, these pups gradually grow into energetic squirrels ready to start their own life cycle. Squirrel reproduction is a fascinating journey, isn't it? We've traveled through the intriguing world of squirrels, delved into their unique mating season and observed the magic of their reproduction process. We've discovered that these agile creatures have a complex yet captivating cycle of life. Our journey then took us to the gestation period, a time of anticipation and preparation. During this period, female squirrels get ready to welcome the new arrivals, ensuring their nests are secure and well prepared. Finally, we witnessed the birth and early life of squirrel pups. These tiny creatures, completely dependent on their mothers, grow rapidly, preparing for the day they'll scamper around on their own. This cycle, from mating to birth, is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of squirrels. Next time you see a squirrel scampering around, remember the incredible journey.